Colored Balls, written by Anne Hart. Throw it, Manuel. Hugo held out his arms. The red ball flew through the air. Hugo caught it. The ball was dirty. It was soft. I think there's a hole in our ball, Hugo said. Throw it to me, Manuel called. Hugo threw the ball. It flew high in the air. Oh no, said Hugo. The ball disappeared behind a tall wooden fence. The boy stared at the fence. Now what do we do? Manuel asked. Hugo sighed. I don't know. What do you think the boys might do next? Suddenly, a bright red ball sailed over the fence. Hugo caught it. It was clean. It was full of air. It looks brand new, Manuel said. It's not our ball, Hugo said. We'll have to throw it back. He threw it over the fence. A minute later, another ball flew over the fence. Hugo caught it. It was green and shiny. They gave us the wrong ball again, Manuel said. Hugo threw the ball back over the fence. The boys waited. Soon, a yellow ball flew over the fence. It's brand new, Hugo said. Who's over there? Who do you think might be on the other side of that fence? Let's turn the page and find out. He climbed onto the fence. He peeked over the top. Wow, he said. What is it? Manuel climbed up beside him. They looked into a yard. It was full of balls. There were red balls and green balls and yellow balls. There were striped balls and polka dot balls. A boy stood in the middle of the yard. Hi, Hugo said. He threw the yellow ball to the boy. Why do you have so many balls? He asked. My mom works at a ball factory. She brings them home all the time. Do you want to play? Hugo grinned. Manuel did too. We sure do. Now that we've finished the story, take a minute to think back on these comprehension questions. What color is Manuel's ball? Why does the boy have so many balls? Can you remember? Where does this story take place? Why do Manuel and Hugo want to play with the boy? The end.